Today I'm in Camborne at Zeiss House to find out more about another area of the Zeiss portfolio. You most likely know Zeiss for their high precision CMMs and X-ray CT. But Zeiss started as a microscopy business back in 1846 and now manufacture scanning electron microscopes, SEMs, here in the UK for the whole world. Zeiss have recently relocated to Zeiss House with the SEM production line at the heart of the building. Now let us look at how simple these machines can be to use and what they are capable of. An SEM is a scanning electron microscope. You might know Zeiss for coordinate measurement machines or light microscopes. Now, the scanning electron microscope is similar to a light microscope, but rather than using light, we use electrons. And the electrons are scanned across the surface, hence it's called a scanning electron microscope. Well, it sounds very impressive, but what kind of industries and applications does it lend itself to? Okay, so a lot of industries will use electron microscopes to examine components for QA and QC, uh, but it's applicable to additive manufacturing, aerospace, new electric vehicles, all sorts. At Zeiss we've got a simplified user interface which opens up electron microscopy to everyone. What are the barriers to entry? So traditionally, the, the issue's been around the need for highly skilled users, where now with our simplified interface, as Mark intimated, um, we've got the ability to actually utilise the technology with very little training. In fact, you would only require hours rather than days to weeks worth of experience training. The benefit of the technology and actually the benefit of ownership is it gives you the ability to take control of your analysis. So you've got the ability to image what you want when you need to image it. Here we've actually got an additive manufacturing powder uh, and we can look at the crystalline structure of it and also the particle sizes. And what is the material? So it's a, it's a nickel alloy. Let's touch upon additive manufacturing. This is a new emerging technology and is being used in, in, in many industries such as the medical in, industry for an example. So if I was manufacturing a critical medical part, how would the SEM check the powder that is going to be used to, to print a part. Okay, so when the manufacturer receives the powder, they want to know that that powder is the right material and it's good quality. So using the scanning electron microscope, you can image the powder and you can check the size of the particles. You can also make sure that it's the correct material and that you've got your correct alloy that you're building your component from. Also, you can check your powder once you've manufactured a part to see whether you can recycle it. So you might be looking for particles that aren't the correct composition, so the wrong elements. Uh, you might also be looking for clumping of powders or if you're recycling powders for spatter from the previous printing technique or also satellites. And what would be the outcome of the part if the integral qualities of the material were incorrect. Okay, so you could be looking at uh, inclusions within the material which reduce the strength and elasticity of the component. Uh, you could also be looking at increased porosity or the wrong crystalline structure. And magnification, you know, what are you talking in regards to? Okay, well we're looking at micron scale resolution. Uh, so our field of view would be in a micron size and putting that into the human context your hair is about 100 microns in diameter. I've learnt a lot about the SEM technically. I would assume it's a significant investment so what kind of return of investment would you expect to see? Well basically you can uh, you could actually get a return investment is is as little as 18 months, so it depends on the application and the requirements, but the, the technology will give you the ability to take greater control of your analysis 
of your samples and therefore your products. So for companies looking to invest, what would you recommend? Well, we're actually offering access sessions where we will analyse your samples uh, for you um, and show you the type of images that we're able to achieve and that will hopefully allow you to understand uh, whether it's the right technology um, and essentially it allows you to put your faith in Zeiss.